Hey guys, it's Hana here, and I'm here to do a video today, finally. A March favorites video since it's April now, and I did a poll on Twitter to see which video I should film. And this one won. I'm actually super excited to film this because past few months have been super good. I've found tons of stuff. So, let's get started. Skincare is so important to me. So, first, I want to talk about rose hip oil now i did use this one for the past few months and I finally had just ran out of it and i got it at i believe tj maxx i don't know if y'all can see that it says rose hip oil organic cold pressed it was about six bucks it wasn't very much but i just started using this one because i ran out and I couldn't find any more of this anywhere. So I went to Marshall's whenever I was out of town once and just found this. I really like the bottle. It's really cute. It says rosehip facial oil. Okay, so I don't know if this is actually organic, but I've used it on my skin and it really hydrates it. And if you know me, I have combination skin, so I have dry and oily. It's usually dry up here and up here but it's usually oily everywhere else. I really feel like rosehip oil really, really works for your skin. I love it. My mom actually learned this trick. Totally recommend that you get this. This Murad Exfoliating Cleanser. I love this cleanser so much because it really exfoliates your skin. And I honestly, I wear makeup every day and this just really, cleanses my skin so well, takes off the dead skin, leaves my face smooth, and then after I use this, I'll put on that oil. Now, you can't exfoliate every day. I mean, you could, but I don't find that very healthy for your skin. So, I recommend using this about twice, three times a week, not too many times, but it really cleanses and tones your skin, as it says. Makeup favorites it's just a brush I got this brush from my mom she used to work at Ulta I'm pretty sure it came from the contour and conceal palette by them it really looks like their brush um I use this to contour and it's amazing I just I just love this brush next I want to talk about this lipstick now I love ColourPop the only thing about ColourPop is that you have to moisturize your lips before you put on their products, as far as I know, or their lipsticks at least. It's like a mauve color. I don't know if you can see that. I just love it so much. Beeper by ColourPop. It's ultra matte, and there you go. And it was only about $5. And overall, I was satisfied for the price. I mean, $5 for matte lipstick. I mean, you can't beat that. And it's high quality as well. Next, I'm going to be talking about this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Now, I'm actually wearing it right now. I honestly love this because I got it from Walmart and it was only about $4, I believe, or $5, something like that. This is the shade Precious Petals. I honestly believe that this is a dupe for the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Limited Edition highlighter. I mean, it's almost about the same. Um, this highlight has really nice pigment. I honestly think it's an, a pretty close dupe to the Becca Cosmetics highlighter. Now, the Becca Cosmetics is very high-end. It's like $40, and this was almost only $5. Now moving on to dinnerware, which is a very weird topic, but I went thrifting and I found some really cute like mugs and like a little set that I just want to show you guys. That's pretty much my favorite. The first one is this wolf mug and it says Alaska. It was only a dollar and I love it so much and it's just so cute. Now next is this little teacup set it comes with these little saucers these cute 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 mugs teacups whatever you want to call them now the whole set was one dollar each thing was 25 cents so i consider that a really nice bargain i also have this little jewelry box that i got for a dollar it had stains on it whenever i bought it but it easily came off with a disinfectant wipe so 
yeah I'm really into like the whole like sun moon theme I don't know why I just think it's super cute and I also want to get a sun and moon tattoo so the first thing I want to talk about is comfort color t-shirts I honestly am amazed because I love comfort color t-shirts but I found this shirt and there was another red one that was plain at Dollar Tree in my hometown like Dollar Tree Dollar Tree had them for one dollar so of course I had to buy them next I have this Hard Rock New Orleans shirt that I had bleached it was all purple and um, I bleached it and no it's not for sale on Moon Wolf Thrift I've had a lot of people ask me about that but I love this shirt so I'm not going to sell it I have this Rolling Stones tour shirt I got it from Goodwill it's super super comfortable and it's awesome it, I believe it's from their tour of 94 95 and here's the back whenever they had traveled the world I thought it was super awesome like so next I have this denim pullover coat jacket thing branded by guess it has a hood and it's super heavyweight but also light at the same time I don't know if you can see it but I love it so much it looks so cool it has little pockets that are super handy I just I just love it it was only about four dollars I believe so not too bad didn't break the bank this jacket I found at a local thrift store in town called Marva. It's authentic Liz Claiborne. So it's like a vintage denim jacket. And it also has like this fleece on both sleeves. Super cute. It's like a nine, very 90s vintage looking coat that you'd probably see people wearing at school. Here's the back. Now I ironed these letters on here. I got them from Hobby Lobby on clearance and I just thought, you know, this jacket would look pretty cool if it had something on the back of it. So I decided to put life is good on it. Not the best choice, but I thought it came out pretty well. The last category I have to talk about that's not physically here with me because it's, it's music. And lately my favorite songs have been pretty, pretty hip hop and more like soft rap based, I guess you would say. Um, my roommate showed me this cool artist named Khalid and he's really cool. I think my favorite song by him right now is Location. And I'm totally in love with Post Malone's album, Stoney. I'm, I'm just so in love with it. It's just awesome. So check that out if you haven't already. And if you haven't, you're behind. Also, I think my third favorite album of March was Drake's album that he actually just dropped like not too long ago. It's called More Life. And my favorite song on there is probably Blem or Glow. I love all the other songs, but I really love those two songs. So check out that. I'm sorry I'm talking with my hands too much, and I guess I'll go now. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll try to film another video soon. It just really depends on when I'm free and when I'm not working and when I'm not doing homework. So yeah. Alright, thank y'all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I mean... Alright, next. <gasps>